So once again, we're passing all the familiar landmarks on the way to the fishing grounds for guess what? Season six of Fishing the With Lacucci. And a lot of stuff is happening in Yankee Town. They had a, a fire at the Yankee Town Marina where we gas up the boat. Of course, they had Hurricane Idalia blow through town in uh, late August, and everybody got 10 feet of water in their front door. So it's been uh, a crazy summer, and I'm going to go find out just how bad it is. You know, unless you knew somebody down here or had seen some pictures, you'd have no idea that something bad happened here. But. I'd have been six feet underwater where I'm driving right now. So welcome back. Let's go fishing. Yeah, here we are. Looks pretty intact, huh? Let's go inside and find out what's going on. Well, there you are. <laughs> you surprised me. Yes. Okay. Oh. Let's have a calm greeting here. I guess not. <laughs> Get out of my car. You're chasing your tail. Yes, good doggy. Down. Sit. Sit. Hello. Okay. Well, I said it looked like there was nothing obvious that indicated there had been a flood here, but if you look closely here outside, right on the garage door here, about chest high, here's a high tide line right here of debris that glued itself in, and then there's one above it, and clearly that's probably the highest high tide line right there. So, the you know, water was up to about here. That would have been scary, huh? Wow. Show me where the high tide mark is. High tide mark. It's, Where's the high tide mark, Captain? I didn't really wash our walls, but it was about, it was right about here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, a little more than waist high. That's nuts. But, you know, if I walked in here and didn't know otherwise, I'd just say, gee, what are you, cleaning out your shelves? What's all the junk doing on the counter? The old stove. I turned it on and it just smoked like crazy. Big billows of smoke were coming out, so I turned it off, obviously, and just decided to replace that it rather nice. than let it smoke a while and dry out because the salt water was in there, you know, and causes currents to go yeah. where they shouldn't go. And here comes my big brother. Yeah. Yeah. And then my little brother here. No, my see, little, my little sister. I like this better. You got oh. rid of that old creepy old Look, thing. Look, the new. Hey, big bro. Hey, <laughs> do I look younger? <laughs> well, I've been hearing all your exploits of digging holes and stuff. That's pretty young. So all I had to do is take a freshwater hose and I didn't pull this carpet out of here this time. It got good and clean. I just hosed it out. Hosed yeah, it you hosed. had it immaculate. Yeah, but, uh, but it was, looks decent. It was black muddy. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you would never know that something bad had happened here unless somebody told you. Except this little ramp separated from the dock. <laughs> and the banana tree isn't too happy. It looks a little wilted. Well, we're leaving the dock a little late in the afternoon, but that's because it's exceptionally low, low tides. And going out this morning would have been a little risky. So getting the boat uncovered for a two o'clock or later departure. <laughs> All right, here we go. Season six. Oh, go forward before you bend the fishing rods. Quick, quick. <laughs> Shoo! We almost had our first catastrophe even before we left the dock. Off we go. Lucy's kind of working her way into a, uh, a lather here because of the dogs that used to live down here, but they may not be in residence now. There's nobody there. It's nothing. 
Hey, the question is, do you, do you hate him or do you love him? <laughs> so here's one guy who didn't have too much of a worry with the uh, the 10 foot overtide during Idalia, the hurricane. It's a new stilt house on this property the here along the Withlacoochee. Somebody's waiting for a handout. Come on, Fred, look at look at that face. <laughs> she's just yearning. And and she's drooling all over your your water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> These guys here got themselves something. Let's see what they're gonna pull in. Oh catfish. Okay, catfish and a snapper. Well, it's decidedly nautical out here, and it's decidedly a little on the cool side because we're getting a direct blast out of Canada, and that means we're going to see record low highs for the day today. All right, I've got a lure out there about, uh, I don't know, 50 yards maybe chugging along about three or four miles an hour. And uh, Spanish mackerel is what you catch doing this. Well, we snuck around to the leeward side of these islands, so we got some protection from the swells. And we're gonna shore fish, just cast in toward the shore. See what happens. So I've switched reels and I have a fossilized shrimp from six months ago. And it yeah. looks pretty, pretty realistic. So I'm gonna toss this out. First fish of the season. What is it? Show, sure, look out, I'm gonna fling it in. All right, I'll get out of the way. Whee! Don't eat it yet, Lucy, we wanna look at it. Oh, jeez, don't trip over me. It's a keeper, too. It's a sand trout. Is it? It's a sand trout, so. Oh, it's a different kind. There's no size on them. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, it's a sand trout. We're oh. waiting. I don't know. Well, congratulations. The first fish of season six, episode one. The $1,500 prize goes to you. Sand trout. Oh, and the keys to the Ferrari, the bonus prize. Wait, 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 problem. Is she unhooked? I don't know, there's a big old mess over on your side. Oh yeah, oh. I think maybe you, uh, I had a, yeah. <laughs> Oh, we've got our first onboard snag here. All right, and she's leaping through things. Lucy, you just gotta sit still when we catch a fish. Got a cooler with you. There's another one. Wow, that's even a bigger one. That's a beauty. That's a nice one. What is it? Another sand trout. Big one. Back up, Lucy. Let's let's see this thing. There. Wow. Is that a regular trout? That's a sand trout. Wow. Oh, my big brother caught something. Let's see if he can jump. Whee! All right. We're, we're only one third skunked now, and that would be me. And I expect to turn around and walk over to my pole. Did you catch something? I got a nibble. John caught two, two of them. Well, we just had a little pod of dolphins swimming by. The ever protective, there they are. There. The ever protective Lucy is gonna keep those bad, those bad mammals. Oh, they're coming closer. They're circling back on us. I've gotten two whopper bites. I've just got a hook on the bottom with a big hunk of fish on it. Some old mullet or something. And my uh, rod tip just leaned over like the uh, way over. And suddenly I was dragging a, an anvil through the water. So we're, we're about to go in soon, but <laughs> I'm so close. I think I hear it. Yep. All right, time to go home. Relatively successful mission. So we're rounding the bend of the uh, Spoils Island here, and it's uh, getting pretty nautical. We're looking at two and three foot waves here. Be glad to get back into the uh, safe confines of the Withlacoochee River. But we're gonna troll on the way back in. <laughs> and
and uh, notice my brother's hat more indicative of uh, January fishing than mid-October It's a little rough out here. Are we gonna be all right? We can make it back safely. Yeah. All right. Ooh, yeah, right. Get the neck. I got it all. I got it all washed in the shower this morning. One of the things that Hurricane Idalia did was wreck a lot of these uh, channel markers here, yeah. where you see these red buoys. They were uh, big steel eye beams with a triangular uh, red marker on them. And since the tide was about 12 feet higher than it is now, uh, a lot of leverage got pushed on those big fan-shaped um, channel marker plaques and overwent these old rusty I-beams. So the Coast Guard has come out and replaced a bunch of them. Well, somebody wants to get my lap here. Oh, <laughs> All right, well, let's just, you just sit right there, Lucy, while we talk. So. Your daddy, the captain, caught two nice sand trout after we decided to brave the foul weather out there. So that worked out pretty well. I got, uh, I hooked onto two anvils, which let go of my, my fish head that I had on the end of a hook. And uh, this dude, big bro here, caught a little lizard fish. You better explain what you meant by anvil. Nobody knows. Uh, the captain thinks I need to explain an anvil. Basically, I had my line out and suddenly my pole bent over as I explained earlier, and it suddenly weighed a ton, and I knew there was a fish on there, and then it let go. They stripped all the meat off the fish head I had out there. But anyway, no fish for me, which won't bother the spouse the least bit. That's it. Thanks for being with us. Good night, everybody.